Hi, this is Jim Lenahan, and you're looking at one of my Range Master clones, uh, which will probably end up on eBay here as soon as this uh, YouTube video processes. <laughs> uh, I use real British parts and the real transistor you're supposed to use, an OC44. This was a real simple single transistor booster. And, you know, they have some quirks and things, like when you turn the gain knob, there's a voltage across it, so it makes like a staticky sound. But that's part of the design. Um, these things used to be in a big box that's set up on top of your amp. And they were meant to be set and stayed on all the time. Um, people now put these things in these little pedal enclosures. Uh, I make mine with a true bypass switch so that you can switch around it. But they're not really meant for uh, switching on and off. You, you can do it, but there may be some noise from the switching. Anyway, I even use uh, capacitors that I got in England and things. Uh, um, I make mine just like the ones that I've seen and it works just fine. If you have a, a tube amp that's a uh, you know, Vox AC30 or a high watt or an old orange or an old Marshall or something, even a JCM800 with a master volume works pretty good because you can control the volume better. Uh, if you get the amp distorted just a hair, um, and indeed you may have an amp that doesn't distort enough, well that's what this is for. Uh, it was by accident. Uh, it distorts your amp real well. I don't think the designer is meant for it to do that. A lot of the British uh, records I listened to as a teenager and growing up um, had a unique distortion quality that no one in, in, in the United States could figure out how they did it, but we know that it's one of these now. So. Um, Roy Gallagher uh, used to use them. Queen, yeah, Brian May, of course, uh, and he still does. And uh, early Judas Priest and things like that. So let me play a few things for you with and without the booster. Here's a, a Roy Gallagher song called Secret Agent, and this is the amp by itself, just with a little bit of... That's all the distortion it has. And it goes like... Not too bad, but here's with the booster on. I think it sounds a little better. Um, here's a um, here's a Jews priest with it off. And it also buffers uh, your guitar from the amp. So if you're going to play some Queen music like uh, Brian May, you can get like on a song called It's Late. He starts off with a guitar turned way down. And his, his booster stays on all the time. In fact, the one he uses all the time doesn't even have a switch or a knob because it's wide open all the time. See how it, you know, adds quite a bit to the sound, and uh, this is what actually made the tone for a lot of people. Uh, uh, once people use one of these, if they're a classic rock player, or they have, um, you know, classic equipment, um, they can't play without it usually. Once they use one of them, thanks a lot. <laughs>